Hello folks, how are you doing? So there's, there's Catties at Christmas. My wife bought me, Christmas is gone, my wife bought me the uh, Ray Mears uh, folding buck saw and it's basically a little bit of a review and my humble opinion of what I think of it. Um, this is the uh, this is the bag that it comes in. It's a heavy duty uh, canvas material. Okay, it's got a strap there that does up with a leather with a leather design there. I mean, I literally just put a figure of eight knot into that, and then that stops that flap from coming open. Um, there's also this uh, this sort of carrying. It's like a piece of paracord with like a leather like a leather shoulder kind of strap on it really um not really i'm not that sort of you know it's a bit there to me but yeah fair enough you know what i mean if that's what you want it's got the old uh Ramey's ski thing now the six ski symbol that he uses um and also in there as well if i undo the knot which is just out of the picture i'll bring it in it's got the uh inside there allows you to carry an axe. Now unfortunately because I have to actually walk through the streets um, when I'm coming up here, okay, I have to be very careful within the, you know, keeping within uh, UK knife laws and I can't go walking through the street with a, with a um, axe sort of hanging up. I probably can't even walk through the street with this saw folded up but you know, I, you know that I, I couldn't bring the axe, but anyway, basically an axe will fit in there. I've got a um, wildlife hatchet, and I've got the small forest axe, and that works fine in there. Okay, so um, that's the canvas pouch. You know, it's heavy canvas, very durable. Hang on, my dog's going on one. I don't know what she's up to. Oh, she's over there. She's probably just chasing rabbits. Anyway, onto the saw itself. Um. I see a couple, I see some other people do a video of it, or vaguely do a video of it, and they said that they've had it for a couple of years and all the rest of it. But for me, I've had mine since Christmas, it's now April, so work it out your maths how many months that is. And what I must say is that some of the other peoples that I've seen, they're as brand new as, they look like they've got them out of the bag, whereas mine is absolutely minging. I don't really know, you know, I mean mine's absolutely, I've fucking used it since I've had it, I've just been using it and abusing it really because I want to get my uh, my money's worth out of it um, it's it's hundred and thirty pounds this thing all right, 130 British pounds all right I think now at the moment on the website it's going for hundred and forty pound I mean you know you need to justify yourself whether or not it's worth that kind of money just to cut wood um, it's a nice setup I must admit um, but you know, if you've, if you've been watching some of my videos in the past, I, I sometimes say I'm a bit of a tight ass to it, and I really am. Um, but would I have paid £140 for this or 130 I don't think I would. And it's not because, you know, it's not because of the quality or anything like this. I just actually think it's a lot of money for what you're getting, yeah? So anyway, if I just go and assemble this, I'll show you uh, as I go. It's got the, um, it's obviously got this, it's not a paracord that's, that, that's used as the tension. It's just like a like a nylon kind of. It's quite a strong, quite a strong sort of um, cordage. All right. Um, there's the brace that goes right across. Um, I think that it's made out of beech actually, which obviously it's quite light. It's going to have the strength there as well. I'm just going to put the brace on the floor. I suppose one thing good about it is that the actual blade sits inside the handles. All right, but. You know, I mean, some people, some people have said that, oh, you know, you could cut your hand on this when you're taking it out, or then, you know, put gloves on, or just be a little bit more careful when you take it out. You could say that about a knife, all right? But um, yeah, the blade slips into the handle quite nicely, all right? Okay, then the brace goes in, like so. I mean, it's covered in Ray Mears symbols as well. It's got the snow for you know, it's got, the, it's got that on there. You know, maybe that's what you're paying for. The fact that it's got him on it. I mean, I'm not caning him for, for what for what it is. It's just, to me, it is a lot of money for what you're getting. But the practicality of it, it's a, it's a, nice, it's a nice saw. The actual uh, blade that you get supplied of it is um, for cutting greenwood. Um, oh, 
I suppose the camera's picking that up, which really fine, you know, collecting it for greenwood. But if you're after firewood for your fire, then you know that's. I mean, that's something else. Another thing I've seen people complaining about. Oh, you know, you can only use that blade for greenwood. You know, what I mean, at the end of the day. If you're going to cut wood, any fucking saw or cut whatever wood, it just makes it a little bit easier or harder, depending on what effort you're putting in. All right, but um, but yeah, there it is. It's it's a sturdy old thing, you know. It's a it's it's a say it's light. All right, the blade. Yeah, you know, maybe maybe they could have given you two blades, you know, given you a green wood and a dead wood blade or something like that, rather than just one green wood blade, because what you're paying for it. You know, I think that would be my more quib if anything else. Some people have also said that they're not impressed with the pins, that the screws that are actually in there, they say they're too thin. Well, I don't know, I've not had any problems with it yet. And as you can see, the colour of my wood is that it's, you know, I've, since Christmas, I've been out of it through the, through the British winter. Not that we've had much of a British winter, but it's still been shitty, damp and wet and all the rest of it. And I've just been using it, it is what it is. I haven't treated it with anything yet. I probably might give it a little bit of a sort of a clean up, but um, I don't really see the point because I'll only be bringing it back out and getting it dirty and shitted up again. All right, so what I'll do is I'll do my old um, Steven Spielberg prowess and I'm, I'm sitting on a lump of birch at the moment. Um, a little bit greenish and I'll uh, show you, show me just using it, you know, watching it cut really. All right, so uh, yeah. Let's just move that out of the way. I might have to adjust the camera. So yeah. Let's also pinpoint it around here a bit more so we're off the overhead. Okay. Yeah, so I mean, bites into the wood really easy, you know, making shit of the wood, quite honest, you know. <laughs> you know, and there you go. I mean, wow. I mean, to be quite honest, just to adjust my bench again. I mean, to be quite honest, you know, it's, it's not bad. It's, it's all right. But as I say, the only thing that I think puts me off, if I was to be buying it myself, is the fact that it is a lot of money, you know, for what you're getting. I think, but you know, you've got to sort of weigh that up. I've got it now, I mean, it's not like I can give it back. I wouldn't anyway, but and I'll get my money's worth out of it. I will put it through its paces, but um, yeah, that is the Ramiers foldable fold away buck saw, or whatever you want to call it. Made of beach, it's got a Bayco blade on it, okay, 24 inch blade. All right, but obviously this one's for Greenwood. I do think they should have maybe given you a second blade as well, just to sort of, you know, for what you're paying for it. And it's now gone up £10 as well. So to buy it, it's now £140. But what you are getting is obviously, you know, good quality stuff. But, you know, who knows? I'm not, I don't know whether I'm... I think I'm kind of in the middle of the fence with it, really, what I think in regards to... Uh, in regards to cost and stuff like that. But the actual, you know, the use of it is really good. But then I did a video... You know, my, I did a recent video on me actually making one. All right, it was probably a little bit thicker and it's been made by me, but it would still do the job. And uh, in my day sack, I've actually got a, a blade that's that's been coiled up and inside a leather bag. And maybe what I could do is maybe find myself a bit of um, hazel or um, even birch or something like that and bend it over and, 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 put, and put the blade in there like that. But hey-ho, you know what I mean? So... I've got it now, um, as I say, there's the bag, heavy duty canvas, alright, this bit, I'm not really sort of like, I don't know, I think maybe, you know, they could have maybe put something else on it as well, maybe put another little, maybe, maybe put another one this side, and so it's easier to actually maybe attaching it to your rucksack or stuff like that, because, I mean, to be quite honest, you know, sort of like, around the, you know, British woodland, 
you know you've got to be very careful with walking around with that on your back with a with an axe in there as well so you know it only takes a one person to complain about seeing someone with a you know a nutter or whatever with a with an axe and a or they don't know what it is but obviously they might be able to make out an axe in that pouch i don't know you know it is good it's it's, it's all right it's just i don't know there needs to be a little bit more thought gone into it in regards to using it in the uk you know i think this is more of a sort of a, a swedish come uh, american -y kind of thing rather than not to say that you can't use it in britain fucking hell because i've got one myself but it's just you know that's just my humble opinion of it okay so um so if you've got a spare 140 pound get yourself over to ray mears's site and get yourself one if you think it's any good or get yourself uh, a blade, pick up a, a blade, a cheap blade, and make one yourself. Have a go at making one. You know what I mean? But uh, I've got both, as I say. I've got one that I've made myself, and I've now I've, well, I've had this one since Christmas of the one that I've got the Ray Mears this one. All right. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching, folks. Um, subs and comments all uh, mostly appreciated. Take care, and uh, catch you later. <laughs>